Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to react to and review WTP by Tiana Taylor, the music video WTP featuring Mickey Blanco. So this, I'm not gonna lie, it's my second time watching it. But yeah, I just wanted to react to it. Um, I didn't finish listening to her album, but I did hear this song and a few other songs. So this was one of the, I, I liked this song. It, it definitely gave me like a, a ballroom vibe, a very like Vogue type of vibe, house music type of vibe to it. So this is my second time. You know, sometimes when you watch it the second time, you pick up on things you didn't see the first time. So, but I just wanted to be truthful. I didn't want to lie and act like it was my first time watching it. So I'm just gonna watch it again. But yeah, you know, I love the ballroom scene. I don't know everything about it. I only got into it like, what, were we in 2019? About six, seven years ago. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I'll review it afterwards, so. My name is Tokyo Mugler and I walk the My name is Milan Christopher, the icon. I've never I'm seen Milan Christopher in the scene. Uh, labels, you know, I've been walking balls for like 22 years. 22 so years. I've been around. And I've never seen my name is Sean Extravaganza. I know his real name is Sean Rocks. My name I've is Sam. I'm the overall mother of the house of Ms. Rahe. I'm legendary for face, realness. Maybe I'm the Sean Lavin. I've been following him for a while. Well, I'm an icon in Sean Lavin for the overall international election. Iconic. She is so funny. Hi, what, what's your name? What house are you from? I'm from the house of uh, Petunia. Petunia? What, <laughs> I laughed so hard when she said that. House I, of Petunia. Oh I, my gosh. I don't really want anything. I, I kind of um, just won't go over it. I know that house is not actually Petunia. pink. Yeah? Tiana. <laughs> you coming to the bar tonight, girl? I can't. <laughs> it takes balls to walk a ball, and I don't think she got it. I love the Cinderella story. I, love it all. I just don't understand why I'm not good enough to work my pussy at the ball. You know, I can work my pussy. What this pussy? 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 This is a huge bottle. She gets a good so duck you, walk. You feel like you're ready to. Are you are you okay? These beautiful clothes. Fashion Nova. That's that old way. <laughs> and this is Mickey Blanco. I didn't realize that Mickey Blanco was on the song. I've never listened to Mickey Blanco. I just know it. I like that outfit. In the wig too. Why are they holding up signs? They don't hold up signs in the scene. They just do like this. Tens, tens, tens across the board. That hat is so cool. She just 
runs off into the night. Elena Wade is hilarious. This your shit. I gotta find this motherfucker, okay? Where'd she go? <laughs> I love her cut. The color, everything looks so good. I love this shot. I love the lights with the bodysuit. Yes. So she had like two stepsisters. Where was the evil stepmother? There was the fairy godmother. Who is Lena Waithe playing? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she's the mother. I believe that there's a big future out there with a lot of beautiful things. And I couldn't put my finger on this voice. I knew it was from Paris is Burning. And I was like, is that the White Queen? But then I think they switched. That was a Venus extravaganza. And then I think they switched it over to Octavia Saint Laurent. And then I didn't realize that this, I think this is like the sex museum. I don't know where it is though. I didn't realize that those were breastuses. And that's Pony. This was my favorite part, the end when it showed all of them voguing and walking. Yeah, this was my favorite part. This room is with the twist. That was nice. That was WTP by Tiana Taylor. I think we all know what that stands for. Yeah, I really liked the video. I love that she put, or she, you know, represented ballroom, the ballroom scene, and she definitely represented a lot of queer people of color, a lot of black trans people, trans women, and, um, black gay people in the scene and um, it was shot really nice. I think she directed it so that was pretty cool. The song is cool too. It's okay. It's just like a, a cool party song and I love the Cinderella theme. Lena Waithe was hilarious and I'm so excited for um, Boomerang. Boomerang. I just saw another preview um, of it on Instagram, so I'm so excited for that. I'm ready for the shy to come back on. But anyway, yeah, I need to listen to the full project by Tiana and stop playing around. Um, it's funny because the first time I watched it, I was like, why hasn't Azalea Banks given us this type of video yet? Because this is the type of music, like, this is really like Azalea Banks, uh, Azalea Banks's lane. She has consistently made like house music, like house type music. And I've always, I, I don't know, I guess she just hasn't had the budget. I mean, her past videos have been really good, but her recent ones are just kind of like, uh, but this isn't about Sailor Banks. But the only issue I think I have with the video is that like in the beginning, I know all of those people like Milan, Christopher, and like I said, I had never seen him. I've never seen videos of him in the scene, but he said he's been in the scene for 22 years. And, and Sean, did he say extravaganza? My issue is, is that I think obviously they're in the scene, they represent the scene, but sometimes I think when ballroom or anything like this gets to the mainstream, people, the powers that be, they tried to polish it up. And I like that we got to see a lot of people of color and black people because they're the ones who created the scene. Um, Cause sometimes when I see ballroom, I see voguing, I see white people voguing and it's like, like, that's not really what I want to see because 
white people are very much a minority in the city. We all know this, especially in America. Maybe over in France, Paris, somewhere, there's a lot of them over here. It's a lot of black people and I like to see that, but it's kind of like, we all know when we watch, if you've been, I've only been to one ballroom event, but when I watch the different competitions, not every, every person doesn't look so extravagant and glamorous. And it would have been nice to kind of see you know, those kids who kind of like are really in the scene, like putting their blood, sweat and tears into their outfits, into their voguing and, you know, don't have a lot. Like some of them are homeless, unfortunately. And I just would like to see them represented in the mainstream because they don't get a lot of, they don't get a spotlight because they're queer and because they're black and because they're, they're poor sometimes. And so, when it gets to the mainstream, it's like, oh, let's just show the pretty people. And it's kind of like, I love seeing those people, but I would like to see all types of people from the scene. But it's really cool. Like ballroom is super mainstream right now. Like, like I said, I haven't, not like in the scene, obviously, but when I started to get into it, like 2012, 2013, there was like nothing out on ballroom other than obviously Paris is Burning. I think Deshaun, I guess at that time he was a EV suit, but Deshaun Lavin, there was a short documentary on him that was, was really, really cool. And that's it, but now we have Pose, we have My House, we have the Kiki documentary. Yeah, I love it. I love that it's just bringing a spotlight to this scene that it has influenced so much. It influences fashion, music, the way that we talk. Um, this is where shade and reading and coins and living for things, which is another situation. I know people kind of debate on where that language really comes from. I'm, I'm always on the fence. I'm usually not on the fence about things, but some people debate that shade and all of that comes from the ballroom scene, but then other people are like, no, it comes from black women. And I'm just kind of like, mm, I don't know where to stand because I'm not trying to take anything from black women. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to take anything from black women. Maybe that could be another video or you can comment down below what you think. Um, when we talk about language and, and slang um, from LGBTQ people. But yeah, so that was cool. It was a nice video. It was cute, cute, cute. And oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Rest in peace to Cassandra Ebony. That was another thing I wanted to say. Um, rest in peace, she was one of my favorite. And um, uh, rest in peace to anybody else has, who was in the ballroom scene who has passed and, and anybody in general, but definitely queer people of color who have been killed because of their identity or maybe just from sickness or anything like that so uh but rest in peace to cassandra ebony and yeah look forward to my videos in the future my reviews my reactions and everything so thank you for watching